the Hensonian ontology, fame, and an SMS to Derrida. We began the process of creating this artwork as a response to the attempt by the moralists and neo-Christian fundamentalists masquerading as the post-constructivist guardians of the pre-actualized logic to engage the socio-journalistic organisms against the established detachment of artistic thought from the control of the actuators. This pseudo-analytical discourse has actualized an attempt to embody the freedom of cultural workers within a state-sponsored extropy. The objective of this process is to effectively constrain the approach to exploration of the human body as the site of resistance. All eventualities from this event horizon will, in time, transform themselves into an expansive cultural embodiment developed from empirical acts of intentionality that will transform all of the current states of the discourse into a transcendental whole. This new intentionality will signify the creation of a new discourse whose purpose it is to uphold the hegemony of the institutionalized other. The synergy of the aforementioned sites of resistance will induce disharmony within the supplanted self and outside of the external negative sensory consciousness, which will be formed as a composite of the electro-organic synthetic hybrids. The hegemony will be subverted and counterweighed by the individualized undertaking of the autonomous subconscious units of the psychoanalytical being. Utilizing a system of cybernetic cognition, it is possible to develop this further into a semblance of the phenomenological otherworldliness that is typical of the interconnectedness of the existentialist ego. The confirmation of non conforming formalist formation highlights the need for creative thinkers to abandon all forms of ideologically misinformed formalism. This informs formative formulation of their substantive practices, which should be based upon the discoveries within the fundamentally theoretical investigations of the culture of forward-moving vectors. To further explain this phenomenon, we have to be prepared to juxtapose the coordinates of the formally subjective character of the liberated consciousness with that of the parallelistic chasm within the now disrupted linguistic discourse. Challenging the pre-existing dichotomy of the ritualistic artifacts of the meme and the multifacetedness of the Hegelian dialectic manifestations can only be carried out through a thorough instantiation of the polymorphic characteristics of the primary semblances. In short, the metaphysical consequences of the didactic epistemology of the singular cosmology of self is nothing more than the dialectic logic of the universal intentionality embodied within a continuously shifting intersection of the invisible and idea systems within the nanophysical realm. The initialization of a site for the oppositionarily advancing exospecific hypermanipulations of the interconsciousness dialogue will, by implication, involve interdisciplinary aboutness and multilocative interstitial references to generate a social framework for distributed interfaces. This will, through an indirect universal causality, generate a pseudo-angular relativity to what Derrida refers to as the tax in the sending of postcards. In a sense, the Hensonian ontological body of knowledge, the Hegelian disambiguation, and the vicissitudes of Merleau-Ponty's discoveries will be united in a confabulation of substance and meaning that attains all the superfluidity of a Bose-Einstein condensate. In its superfluidity, meaning can shift in a multidirectional sense, at once engaging the medium, its variance, and the receiver, leaving a redshift in its wake that appears as the delay of the original. This delay in the original can be understood as a philosophical engagement of the fleeting nature of meaning that is attained by the passing of messages through an array of interconnected and regulated systemic rules which in effect affect its appearance and disappearance in the inbox of the deconstructed neo-Hegelian contexts. In this way, we would like to inspire other artists to instantiate a claim in the land of the Derrida Republic to construct a new path through which meaning can be seen as a positive aspect of a step towards post-deconstructive neopopper 
reality.